Hi ladies, this is Rochelle, Godiva Secret Wigs. And I have been saving ver something very special to show you. It's my darn gray roots. This is a video that Danielle can't show you, but I'm gonna show you some great secrets. The first secret to hide your part, to hide your roots and your parts when they're gray, is just simply change the part. I don't know why this is, but it's darker, maybe where the sun doesn't shine on the hair. Don't know. So that's the easiest way when you're waiting to go to your hairdresser next week like I am. The next easy way to hide your parts is with Masca Gray. This is called Warm Brown. And I'm just going to show you right here where I have my grays. I'm going to take a little bit, go to the mirror, and just, the trick is to pull it really tight and just run this right over that hair. Instantly covering up the gray. Right. Check out your newscasters next time and you'll see a little brown ring near their forehead. So I think that's doing pretty great. What it looks think, amazing. That's so really see that little difference? Huge difference. Thank God, because this gray is ridiculous. I mean, look at the top center versus your sides. It's amazing. So there's that, and here's this. Yeah, that's amazing. Getting what's, better. What's next? That is good. <laughs> I mean it. I really like that. Okay, the next thing that I've fallen in love with, I love my wigs, but sometimes I don't want to wear a wig. I love my hair, hate my gray roots. So this is a long top, and I have two of them now in different colors. So I'm unclipping it. And there's other videos showing you how to put them on, but basically I'm going to leave a little hair, clip it right near the hairline, and look how that already starts to work. Wow. And makes sense. Pretty good, huh? Amazing. And this hasn't been cut or trimmed, but I'm going to make sure my hairdresser keeps my hair cut correctly to wear this medium, I mean this long top. That is unbelievable. And no bangs have been cut, nothing has been changed. And look at the back, I haven't even clipped the back yet. It's perfect. So now it's all in. So that's all your hair in the bottom underneath and the piece is just literally on top of your hair. Right, right. Covering that gray that you don't <laughs> want to see. <laughs> covering that icky gray. Okay, look. Perfect. Cute, right? Very. Or I could twist it and put it up. Let's and see the back of that. Pieces. Very cute. Yeah, and it also, besides covering the gray, it gives you instant fullness. I love that because I have to admit, the top part of my, my crown area is starting to go flatter, and there is nothing glamorous about that. <laughs> so, so this color is perfect. It's kind of a really natural blend of a reddish brown. But what if you want to just add highlights while you cover the gray and add fullness? Great idea, Danielle. Have I got the color. What is this color called? <laughs> Iced Mocha R. It's our long top with roots, meaning it's a little darker color at the root. Right. And it's the Iced Mocha, which is a great brown with some blonde highlights. So, Danielle, what I'm going to do is going to not touch anything around the face on this piece. But on this piece, I love, look at this, I haven't even clipped it in yet. Instant highlights. Isn't that great? It's amazing. It makes me stand taller. <laughs> I love it, but I'm clipping, clipping it all in right now. Okay. Okay, we're in. But don't you think I'd like a little bang on Yeah, this just one? a little. Okay. So I'm going to cut a little bang. So the way you cut is just a little, little bit at a time. Remembering not to cut your own hair, because that's my hair. So you can use yours as a guide. I can use them as a guide. And just a couple pieces. So I start longer than I think and just work my way up. Oh, I love this. And you can use this same technique to cut your wigs if the bangs are too long. Right. Just very simple. Notice how she's pulling it tight and then just kind of wisping it upwards, not too blunt. So I'm 
my fingers are pulling forward while the scissors kind of going upward. So it just makes it look a little more natural, I think. What do you think, honey? I agree. But I still like it kind of long, so I'm not going to do too much more. That looks awesome. Pretty good, huh? Perfect. Let me brush it. And if I want it to be perfect and really place it with my hair, I can just tease it to work right with my hair. Hmm. But the best part, the best part, honey, is follow me outside. Okay. Because wait till you see this color. Hello, Ventura Boulevard. Hello, world. <laughs> my hair looks awesome. <laughs> So what do you think about this color match? It's perfect outside. It's great. It just gives you the highlights you want. You still have your dark base, and it's fine if your hair underneath is darker, because a lot of women just highlight the crown, the top of their head. Right. What I love about the long top is it doesn't have to match exactly. This it has just to has blend. to blend. Everyone has different colors in their hair. So this is a long top, and I am a happy girl. Have a great day. Bye.